Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm uh, back with another review for Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Got a particularly windy day and a lot of uh, air traffic overhead, so maybe I should have done this review uh, inside. Who knows? We'll find out. But uh, I'm looking to uh, polish off the last of the winter beers. As you know, Tony and I took care of the last of the Christmas sales. This is the Jolly Traveler Winter Shandy. I paid 99 cents for this on clearance. Um, it is a wheat ale brewed with lemon peel with pomegranate juice, orange spice, and natural flavors added. Uh, so it, it, oh, it's actually the Jolly Traveler, Traveler Seasonal Winter Shandy. Uh, now, I have had um, other shandies from beer companies, uh, from uh, Travelers uh, Brewing, and uh, they're usually pretty good. Uh, that's kind of what uh, they're known for is their shandies. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking for my ABV. There we go. 4.4. ABV and this is the best buy date of April so uh, we're a little bit early uh, before the best buy date and that ain't too bad especially for a clearance item and um, so yeah I said as I said I paid 99 cents for this it has a 4.4 ABV and uh, this 12 ounce bottle so uh, I don't see any reason to keep talking any longer um, I'm gonna be using my pop the top opener from Kaza Designs here to open this Okay. Yeah, this is one of those times when the pop a top opener doesn't pop the top quite off. But in the end, the, uh, it did come off. Uh, you can see that this is an unmarred cap. There's no damage to it. The crowning is good, so there you have it. All right, going to be using my Joseph James Vison glass. I don't normally like to do back-to-back uh, -back varieties. But like I said, I, I realized I needed to get some of this uh, um, winter ale polished off. So we've got this one and the uh, next one after this will be a winter ale as well. Uh, one from uh, Fishtail Brewing in Olympia, Washington. One of my favorite craft breweries. And that poured out a kind of an amber color. A lot going on with that uh, bouquet. I can smell everything. I can smell the pomegranates. I can smell the lemon. I can smell the spices. <sighs> Can smell, uh, I can smell almost a mint smell. Um, uh, pumpkin, anybody who's ever inhaled a little too much um, from the pumpkin pie spices as they get poured out, that's what I smell. On top of very strong, honestly, I smell pomegranate more than anything. If you've ever opened up a glass of, uh, you know, opened up a bottle of palm and just took it straight to your, uh, straight to your nose, it's kind of what this smells like. Lots and lots of pomegranate. They obviously did not, uh, the pomegranate juice is not in short supply. Before I even taste it, I can tell you that much. So, um, let's get into it and cheers. Not bad. Not bad. Um, you do taste the pomegranate. This is almost a pomegranate flavored beer. Uh, Not bad. Um, for those of you who like shandies, who like the lighter end, you know, with a, well, what was it, 4.4, I think I said? Yeah, 4.4 ABV. Uh, this is a pretty good way to go. This is something you could um, say, oh, uh, if you if you have a beer in the morning sometimes, uh, this could be the one. Uh, when you've got uh, less than a 4.5 ABV, um, and you've got something that tastes as much like juice as this, I'd say this would make a halfway decent breakfast beer, uh, especially for 99 cents. However, it is a seasonal. Chances are, if it was on clearance rack in my neck of the woods and at my uh, uh, liquor retailer, it's probably on clearance or pretty close to it at uh, your retailer. So you may want to get out there as quickly as possible and grab some of this if you're into that. Um, once again, uh, Shandies, you know, I, I kind of like them. I, I see the need for them. Uh, it's not the kind of thing I'm going to buy a six-pack of unless I've got a friend coming over who likes them. But uh, all in all, this was uh, this was a pretty good beer. I'm going to be giving this a 3.75 on tap. So, um, no, I know that's a little generous. Probably closer to a 3.5. Whatever the case, it's going to get more than a 3. 
So, uh, until next time, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers. <laughs>